Hi, this is Shad with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this video, we're going to learn how to read and write blobs. For this tutorial, we're going to use the Employees table. I have a SQL script that will create the table and add sample data for you. You can download it from the link below. The file is SQL slash table setup dot SQL. So what exactly is a blob? Well, a blob is basically binary data that we store in the database. You normally use blobs to keep track of documents, images, audio, or any other binary object that you have. Note that not all databases have support for blobs. In this example, we're going to make use of MySQL, and they have blob support. On this slide, we'll learn how to create a blob column. So when we create a table in MySQL, we add a column with a blob data type. So on this slide, I want to learn how to write a blob to a database. So for this example, I'm going to add a resume for an employee. I'm going to read a local PDF file, and I'll take that file and update the database with the binary data. That's the actual content of the PDF file. So let's walk through the code. So at the beginning, I'll set up a SQL statement. I'll say update employees set resume equals to question mark, where the email address equals John Doe at foo.com. So we're only going to make a change for this John Doe employee, set up a prepared statement, and then I go through and I create a file that's an actual handle to the local file, sample resume.pdf. Then I set on my statement, I'll set the binary stream, that first parameter for the resume, comma the input. That's the input stream I have for that file. Then I actually call my update, and that'll actually update the database with the binary data. All right, so let's switch over to Eclipse and let's look at a very simple demo. I have a program called Write Blob Demo, and in this program, we're going to actually read a resume from the local file system and write it as a blob to the database. So I'll walk through the code here. So the first thing we do is we get a connection to the database. We prepare a statement, and so we're going to update employees set resume equals to question mark where email equals John Doe at foo.com. So we're going to update the resume for John Doe. Then I'll move down, I'll set up a file handle for this file sample resume.pdf. I'll set up an input stream on that file, and then I'll set that as the parameter for our binary stream for our prepared statement. Then I'll move through and I'll actually do an execute update, and this will actually store this binary file from the file system into the actual database column. Okay, so I just ran the application, and here's the output of the program. So at the beginning, it says that it's reading the file. It gives me the full path to the file, just for sanity's sake. I know which file it's actually reading. Then it tells me that it's storing the resume in the database for employee John at John Doe at foo.com. And then it says that it completed successfully. Excellent. So now let's move over to our MySQL tool and verify this. So I'll take a look at the employees that are in the database right now. So I'll run this query, select star from employees, and I'll get a list of the actual employees. We'll notice here for John Doe, there's an entry here for resume. There's a blob entry. Note all the other entries are null. Okay, so we have a blob entry here. So I can select this entry. I can right click. I can say open value in editor, and it's going to show me this blob. And so again, it's a binary large object. So we see all this binary data actually being displayed as hex. Um, Instead of looking at it in this fashion, there's a, uh, there's a tab here called Image. And I can select this tab. And now it'll actually show me this image or the actual data as a PDF that I can view. So this is the actual PDF document for this employee, John Doe. So this looks really good. So we know that we were successful in storing the blob in the actual database. Now that we know how to write blobs in the database, let's learn how to read a blob from the database. So in this example, I'm going to read the employee's resume from the database as a blob and then store it as a file on my local file system. So let's walk through the code. At the beginning, I have the SQL string where I'm going to select a resume from employees where email equals John Doe at foo.com. On the next line, I'll actually execute the query and then I'll set up a file handle for the actual output file. So I'm going to give this an explicit name, resumefromdb.pdf, just so I know it's a unique file name. I'll set up an output stream uh, for that file handle. Then 
I'll process the result set, so I'll basically move to the next row, and I'll grab an input stream on that column, resume. So I'll say myrs.getBinaryStream on resume. So that's the handle to that blob column. Then I'll basically take it, and now this is normal Java file I.O. I'll just set up a buffer, I'll read in those binary bytes with a buffer size of 1024, and then I'll write it to the output file. So that handle to the output is a handle to the actual output file resume from db.pdf. And I'll keep doing that while I read all the buffer streams, and eventually I'll have the file complete. All right, so let's switch back to Eclipse and let's see this in action. I have this file here called read blob demo .java. Uh, basically, we're going to read the resume from the database and store it as a file on the local file system. So we can walk through the code here, standard thing of getting a connection to a database. Select resume from employees where email equals John Doe at foo.com. We execute the query. Then I set up a file handle uh, for an output file name and I'll call it resume from db.pdf. Then I grab that result set and I say input equals myrs.getBinaryStream. So I'm basically reading that blob data from the database and then I'll use this to store it to the actual uh, local file system. So once I have this input stream, then I take that and I write that out to the output file. And I just keep doing that until the file is actually completely written. We'll say save the file and complete it successfully. Okay, so I just ran the application and here's the output from it. It said reading from database. It gives the query that it was using, John Doe at foo.com. It read all the information and then it saved it to a file. They give the complete path for the file that saved it and also that it completed successfully. Okay, so now what I can do is actually go to my file system and verify that it created that file and take a look at it. So here's my directory. I have this file resume from db.pdf. I can double click on it. It'll bring it up in my preview and there it is, a standard PDF file that we can view, the same information that we had in the actual database. So we're successful. Well, that wraps up our discussion. We were successful in reading and writing blobs to the MySQL database. Please subscribe to our channel to view more videos on Java. Click the thumbs up to like our video. Also, visit our website, lovetocode.com, to download the Java source code used in this video.